Hello everybody, you are gonna come and see us next week to go on a ladybird walk. Here's my ladybird to come and see you. Now this ladybird and some of her friends from this story, what the ladybird heard at Christmas, are gonna be hidden around our school site and we're gonna to have to find them. So to help us know who they're gonna be, I'm gonna read this story to you now. What the ladybird heard at Christmas. You might have read some other stories from this series. On Christmas Eve, when the sun was low and the fields and woods were white with snow, the ladybird set off to, sp to spend a couple of nights with her spider friend. The spider lived in a big old house with people and pets and a small white mouse. And the small white mouse said, squeak, squeak, squeak. And the hamster wheel went, creak, creak, creak. And the parrot squawked and the canary sang. The spider twanged her web, twang, twang. The Great Dane snored and the Siamese purred. And the ladybird never said a word. The ladybird saw, the ladybird heard. She saw two men with a big black van, a ladder, a sack, and a cunning plan. The ladybird already knew they were lanky Len and hefty Hugh. And she heard he whisper, Listen, Len, we'll wait until it's night, and then when Santa Claus has been and gone, we'll put on our fancy costumes on. We'll look so lovely as an elf, and I'll be Santa Claus himself. We'll climb to the chimney, then down we'll slide. Before we know it, we'll be inside. Ooh. They say that house is haunted, said Len. We're both brave and we won't be daunted. Later on, those girls and boys will have their stockings filled with toys. We'll take those stockings off their beds. They won't wake until they're sleepy heads. And even if they do awake, they'll think we have come to give, not take. The two thieves chuckle. Ah, ah. Ah, what a clever, crafty chaps we are. Then the little spotty ladybird, who hardly ever spoke a word, told the others what she'd heard. And the mouse said squeak, and the wheel went creak, and both the birds gave a piercing shriek. The spider scuttled, and the great dame growled, and Simon arched her back and yowled. And all of the pets said, how unpleasant. We can't let them steal one single present. But the ladybird had a good idea. She whispered it into each animal's ear. And they found a sheet of perfect size and a parrot pet two holes for eyes. The spider spun and the Siamese cat slunk out to chat to a friendly bat. Upstairs the children Flo, Fleur, Fred and Little Finn were snug in bed. Then Santa came with treats and toys for all the lucky girls and boys. The thieves watched until he'd gone. They put their fancy costumes on. They climbed the chimney and down they slid. They're here, hissed the cat, and the pets all hid. The small white mouse was ready. Hop! She leapt and she crept inside Len's top. Lanky Len began to, began to whine. The singer's crawling up my spine. The hamster's wheel creaked round and round. And Hugh said, that's an eerie sound. The spider wound her silky threads all around the robber's heads. And, let's, and Len said, this is awfully rummy. I'm scared, cried Hugh. I want my mummy. The Siamese cat yet let out a yow. Oh, crumb, said Len, a ghostly howl. The canary sang, beware, beware, as they turned the corner of the stair, and there they saw a dreadful sight. Something scary, tall and white. The second, the parrot shouted, boom. Help, a ghost, yelled Len and Hugh. 
they fell downstairs and then they charged outside. But who was waiting? Bats! They cried and frightened for their lives. They ran all the way back to their big black van. The bats flapped after the two bad men and they never went back to that house again. Then the small white mouse said squeak, squeak, squeak and the hamster's wheel went creak, creak, creak. The parrot squawked and the canary sang and the spider twanged her web, twang, twang. The great dame woofed and the Siamese purred but the ladybird never said a word. And that's the end of our story. Four leaf clover, my story is over. We've just read what the ladybird heard at Christmas. And we can't wait to see you next week for your Christmas walk. Thank you. Bye.